supported the farmers. I'd like to speak about another issue um, that is a contributing factor to the cost of living, and that is uh, the high cost of fuel in the country. What do you propose to do with that? Because there's also a, you know, a current subsidy in place uh, for that. What do you think is the solution to um, the rising cost of fuel, which, as you know, drives the cost of a number of other products? I think um, the first thing that we need to do is to look at the taxes because 50% almost of the cost of fuel in Kenya is taxes. I think it's time as a country we looked at, I think there are 15 different taxes on fuel. And, and I think it's time we, we looked at how else do we raise revenue? Which, which taxes would you be proposing to um, remove from fuel, the cost of fuel? I think the um, majority of the uh, uh, taxes that are in, 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 that, in that bracket, I think there are, there are almost 15 different, uh, 15 different taxes that are, that are there. I do not have the specifics, but those 15, I think we need to interrogate these 15 different taxes, which ones can we put aside so that like other countries, we can limit the taxation on, uh, on, on fuel. For example, VAT. Correct. I think we need to rethink taxation, VAT taxation on fuel. That was the latest inclusion. Of, of taxes on fuel, and, and I think it was very controversial. Yeah, Honorable Ruto, it, VAT on, um, on petroleum products was indeed controversial. Let me take you back to 2013 when um, VAT was imposed on this as a condition by, at the time, uh, majority, then majority leader Adam Duale said, and I quote, the 181 members have been convinced by our party leader and our deputy party leader on the rationale of 8% VAT on petroleum products. He went on to say, 181 is a very...